Yes, hi, what's your name? Um, I'll just I'll just say my name is Mav. Um Say what? Uh, Mav and Mav. Maybe, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so my question for you is if God said that there is going to be male and female and then there's some variety in within that called intersex people, why do you guys insist on this binary definition of sex when clearly biology is not so binary? There are, are intersex people and you'll say, oh, it's just 1% of people, et cetera, et cetera. And then also, let's extend that to same-sex relationships. So you have someone who's born heterosexual, bisexual, or homosexual. So why is there this thing where God would say, that's fine, that's fine, but that's not fine. And he creates them knowingly like that. And then you, in the past, the church has said these people are mentally ill, they deserve to be you know, put in institutions, penalized, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I could go on and on about that. But my question is, why do you, you say that if I'm going to be a Christian again, that I need to repent from being LGBTQI plus and then accept this narrow version of the gospel? That to me is like conversion therapy and the UN and all these other medical, um, major medical organizations in the US and around the world have called that torture. So for you to stand here and to defend that, that's pretty, Messed up. What is your response okay. to that? Well, Mav, let me ask you a question. What is your standard of morality? I, I'm myself, I'm a secular uh, humanist. I think that everybody is innately good. Um, what do you mean by good? Well, obviously murder is wrong. Why? Because if I went and murdered someone's kid, then that mother or father would not have a child and they would be in mourning and that caused them some great psychological turmoil for the rest of their lives and trauma they're going to have to work through in therapy. So objectively, we can see psychologically, they're not going to be doing too hot. So of course, okay, but that's objectively wrong. Why is it objectively wrong to harm people? Because if we are going to come together as a society and cooperate as a human race, we need to have some sort of mor like moral standard to bind us together, regardless if there's a God or not. But whose moral standard? I mean, Hitler had a pretty tight moral standard within Germany. Why was he wrong? Well, obviously he was wrong on many levels. I mean, the fact that he murdered by, millions of people. But by what standard? Why is it wrong to murder people? Well, I'm just going to say, within my own experience, if I witness the murder of someone, which I gratefully have not, I would be, you know, obviously, like there would be a sinking feeling inside of me, like, wow, I just lost, witnessed the loss of someone's life. That's a terrible thing to see. Like if someone got ran over by a car and it was so quick and you just didn't see it coming, like, of course, that would screw someone up for life. So to me, it's like you don't have to attribute it to whether there's a God or not. Like psychologically, the way that my brain is going to see that is like, wow, I just saw harm or conflicted onto another or inflicted onto another. Yeah, yes, yeah. so you're, 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 you're describing how you know something's wrong. The yeah, question so is a psychological feeling yeah, and the, a the physiological question is, reaction. The question is, why is it wrong if there's no God? So wait, can you repeat that last thing? Yeah, you're explaining one of the ways you might know that something's wrong. The question is, why is it wrong if there's no God? Well, I just think that as a society, we wouldn't be able to just say like, oh, we should allow murder. We should allow this and stuff to happen because obviously slavery was wrong. We abolished that, obviously. Okay, okay, you're, you're, you're bringing up all sorts of, moral wrongs but what i'm you, saying is that you, that was what we need to cooperate as a human race yeah, regardless you, of whether there's a god or not because evolution has in, um incentivized cooperation if i share my fruit with my person they're going to survive if i take care of the elderly person in my clan they're going to survive no 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 if i take care Ev of the evolution. children in my village they're going to survive evolution. the human the, the human race will survive and reproduce and therefore Mav, everyone Mav. else is benefited from it mav evolution is survival of the fittest that's is, not true. There's a lot more to it than your okay, straw well, evolution. You're no, just so wrong about this stuff. I'm sorry. Where am I wrong about evolution being the survival of the fittest? You probably read uh, that guy who Darwin funded the Ark yeah. Encounter. Maybe you, you, or whatever in Kentucky, you probably read his straw man version of evolution. And yeah. I really don't think that you really talk to biologists and you really know what's going on okay. because there's a whole lot of the stuff Mav, that Mav, a lot of you right. guys hold, hold will on, straw man and Mav. not even take as like what it actually says. Mav. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Got a lot of people behind here. 
I'm asking you simple questions. You come up asking a moral question. I'm asking for a moral standard. You haven't given me a moral I standard. I have. I said objective no. morality. That is a moral standard. Where does the objective morality come if there is no God? I'm not the source us, of objective. From within our wiring, from collaborating with other people. Okay. There are negative consequences to murder, obviously. Negative is a moral term. You're, you're importing a moral standard into your atheistic system, and you're stealing it from a theistic worldview. That's not true. Well, I'm sorry. You don't so get many morality. moral standards besides Christianity. Math. There's Buddhism. There's all right, stop. Shintoism. Math, math, math. There's stop. all these different moral stop. codes from all over the world that I've read about that I've imported. So Mav, that's not true. I'm, I'm, Mav, I'm going to have to ask you to move away from the microphone unless you give me a chance to respond. Okay? Fair enough. Okay. So there is no mo objective moral standard unless some kind of God exists. Everything is just a matter of human opinion. And so when you hold up a sign that says that certain people have treated LGBTQ people wrongly, you're well, they have, and there's hold, so much hold, evidence for it. Mav, so. Mav, you might be exactly right about that. But I you know need, I am. I have experiences and data to uh, back okay, it up. Okay, well, I'm sorry that people have treated you poorly. But you there, don't have to go on and spread these bigoted viewpoints on YouTube and Facebook like you do. It's just a bunch of misinformation. You have no idea. Mav, you have blood on your hands. Okay, Mav. Do you, do you want to have a conversation or you just want no, to? No, I really just would okay. like you to just apologize and turn around and see okay. that what you're doing is harmful. Mav, there's only harm if God exists. Harm is only evil if God exists. And so there's you're harm stealing. harm regardless if God exists right, or not. Thank you, Mav. You're not interested. Thank you for coming. Hey, Mav, if I gave you a book, would you read it? Is it on Audible? I have severe ADHD. I don't have an Audible with me, but Is I can... Is it on any type of, like, written, like... I'll tell uh, you what, if you go back... to text speech If you go back there and you give uh, Evan at the table your email address, I will email you personally. Okay. All right? Thank you. And, and uh, by the way, uh, before we go to the next question, now that I have a chance to speak here, I appreciate people coming here who have a different point of view, but it's got to be a dialogue. It can't be a monologue. And I think that, yes, people who identify as LGBTQ have been treated poorly. But I also think now that Christians are being treated poorly, and both of them are wrong. We ought to respect people even if we disagree with them. But that's a moral category. And respect only makes sense as a moral category if there's a moral standard beyond us. Otherwise, everything's just a matter of opinion. If somebody says gay is good, that's a matter of opinion. If somebody says gay is bad, that's a matter of opinion. You have to have a standard. My question to anybody who disagrees is, what is your moral standard? If there is no God, there's no rights to anything. There's no Christian rights, there's no gay rights, there's no transgender rights, there's no human rights. It's just one person's opinion against another. And when we say we're atheists and we start bringing moral categories into the conversation, I'm going to ask, what's the standard you're using? It turns out the standard stolen from God himself. And that's what I cover in the book, Stealing from God, Why Atheists Need God to Make Their Case. We might agree with a lot of stuff Mav said, that people have been treated immorally. But unless you have a moral standard outside of yourself that we're all obligated to obey, it wasn't really immoral. Do you see the point?